This is why we're all watching me here on YouTube, right? Just to watch me cry while doing puzzles. Hi everybody, welcome back to Karen Puzzles. So today, I'm basically doing the exact opposite of what I did last week. Instead of doing a 5,000 piece, very colorful puzzle, instead I'm going to be doing some less than 100 piece clear puzzles. <laughs> I feel like clear puzzles have like taken over the internet. They are literally like plastic clear puzzles. How else can I say it? There's no picture. So you don't know which side is up or down and there's no picture to help you put the thing together. All you're going by is the shape of the pieces. So I have a bunch of different ones here. I don't know how long they're gonna take. I don't really know how difficult they're actually gonna be. That's what we're gonna be doing in this video. I'm gonna see how many I can get through today. I feel like these kind of took the internet by storm when quarantine started because it really is like the perfect thing to just pass the time. So let's do it, let's jump in. I'm nervous, what if it's really hard? <laughs> So here are all the puzzles that I'm doing today. There's the waves puzzle, which was sent to me and I'll get to that soon. I also have this keyway puzzle, which was also sent to me. So I'll get to that one soon too. But first we're going to start with the puzzle impossibles, which I bought with my own money and I will have links to everything down below. So these come in four different sizes, the newbie, which is nine pieces, the tough, which is 25 pieces, hard, which is 49 pieces, and crazy, which is 144 pieces. They all come in Ziploc bags with a tag stapled to the top, and I'll show you a few close-ups in case you want to pause this to read the whole thing. So obviously, this first puzzle, it's only nine pieces, it's not hard. Here is what the pieces look like. They're clear plastic, pretty thick, and they feel really nice to hold. But you might notice there are five edge pieces. That's because since there is no picture on these puzzles, the makers of the puzzles will typically include other little tricks to trip you up while you're doing the puzzle. And so for some of these, the trick is that they hide fake edge pieces and fake corner pieces inside the puzzle. That's not really a spoiler because when you look at the pieces, you can obviously see that there are more corner pieces than there are corners. But in this video, I am going to be including spoiler alerts anytime that I show you what the twist is. So if you think that you are ever going to buy and do any of these puzzles, Please heed those, please skip ahead. I'll tell you exactly when to skip ahead to. One of the later puzzles that I'm gonna do has a really big twist and I really don't wanna spoil it for you if you think you're gonna try it for yourself. So yeah, please keep an eye out for those spoiler warnings. But if you do buy these and you do them, make sure that you come back and then watch the video all the way through because I am working really hard on it. Also, I'm going to be keeping a close eye on the comments. So please do not post any spoilers in the comments. I'm gonna be deleting those if I see them. So let's just keep it fun. Don't ruin things for people. Be nice. Okay, moving on. <laughs> So, okay, for this first puzzle, I'm not worried about spoilers because it's literally nine pieces. I decided to time myself because I knew that it wasn't gonna take very long. And I'm just playing this in real time because you can see that it took me less than a minute to do. But you can see that even with such an easy puzzle, I'm still getting some pieces wrong because you don't know which side is up or down. So there are double the amount of possibilities for where each piece could go. I feel like that 
was maybe a little anticlimactic because I just did the easiest clear puzzle in under a minute. Of course, it was only nine pieces, so obviously they're only gonna get harder from here, but yeah, that was really fun. It was really cute. The pieces are so satisfying to like lock together because they're so thick. Look at that, so nice. So there is the easy one, the nine piece puzzle. Don't have a ton to say about that one. <laughs> Let's move on to the 25 piece puzzle impossible. So this is the tough level, which is 25 pieces. It's the exact same size of a finished square and it's cut from the exact same plastic, but just into slightly more pieces. So this one, I'm going to speed up the footage because it definitely took me a little bit longer. You can see that I'm starting by separating the pieces by shape because that's the only way to do these types of puzzles. Like the shape is the only thing that you have to go on. Also, I wanna note that I'm doing this on a dark background because I read online that it's easier to see the pieces that way. And that's definitely true. It definitely helps to do it on a darker background. So I would recommend doing that if you get this. So you can see that this one took me just over four minutes to put together and yeah, again, it was really cute. Not too hard, but I really enjoyed that. All right, I just finished the 25 piece puzzle. It took me about four minutes, so definitely getting a little more difficult. You can see that he's gotten really tricky in here with having fake corner pieces and fake edge pieces. So what I did was I just did the entire edge first because I knew that those had to be these edge pieces and then filled in the center. The thing that's interesting about these puzzles is that it adds a totally new dimension to each piece because if it's just like out here, you, you have to think about the shapes that way, but then also picture in your head what it looks like upside down or backwards. So there are just so many more options for where the pieces could go. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I think these are so beautiful. All right, so let's take a break from those puzzles for now and move on to the waves puzzle. This one is 49 pieces and the box is really nicely designed. There's some information about the puzzle on the back, which I did not read, and you're gonna see that in a minute. Inside, there's yet more information, which I also did not read, and I would definitely recommend reading this before you start. <laughs> On the back is the answer though, so we're definitely not going to look at that. So the pieces come in this really nice box. I love the thought put into the presentation here. They're held in place by this foam shape, so they're really snugly in there. So rather than being perfectly clear, these pieces have an iridescent color to them, which is so beautiful in person. Since all of them have the same color, it's not like the color changing puzzle where you have to look at them from the same angle. The color doesn't really do anything with putting this puzzle together. It just makes for a really nice visual experience. So these pieces are cut from a thinner plastic than the Puzzle Impossible pieces, but they still feel really nice. You guys, these pieces are so beautiful. This is like exactly my aesthetic. I love how the, how the colors look and how shiny they are and iridescent. This is like a, like a mermaid puzzle from the future. I am a little nervous because it's bigger than the last one. So I think it'll take a little bit more time. And it's also a different type of cut because it was made by a different person. So let's try it out. So as I mentioned, I went into this totally blind, which was a mistake. I started by sorting out the piece types as usual, but then I started to get a little suspicious when the first batch of pieces started going together way too easily. Also, you can see that when I'm building out this puzzle, I originally accidentally made it eight by eight pieces instead of seven by seven. So I fixed that, but that wasn't my only mistake. So let me just cut to the vlog. So it's been 10 minutes and I now understand how this puzzle works. Um, maybe I should have read the instructions before I got started, but basically on the edges, you have these large knobs. I'm just gonna call them knobs. And 
all of them are exactly the same. So any piece can interlock with any other piece that has the right in and out. So there are large ones here on the edge, and then in the middle, there are medium ones and there are small ones. So the idea isn't a typical jigsaw puzzle where each piece can only fit in one spot. These pieces can all interlock in all different ways and you have to try to get them to all, in, like to all fit into a seven by seven square. Also, one of the reasons why it took so long is because originally I thought it was an eight by eight square because I apparently can't do math. I swear I'm usually good at math. <laughs> but one of the challenges is to keep the perfectly square piece right in the center. So I'm gonna try to solve it that way, but this is definitely more difficult than I was expecting. And I'm definitely gonna be sitting here for a while rearranging all these pieces. So it took me another 12 minutes to finish it, which was about 22 minutes in total, although that would have been less time if I had read the instructions and knew what I was getting into up front. I love how when you look at it from different angles, the color looks completely different, and it was a fun little challenge once I understood what I was doing. However, I will say you do get your fingerprints all over this and they show up more on this iridescent piece than on the perfectly clear pieces. So just be prepared for that. I don't think you can really do anything about it, but it's still really beautiful. And a lot of people have taken a lot of really nice photos of it. So it is definitely a very photogenic puzzle. All right, that actually didn't take as long as I thought to finish. It was only about another 12 minutes. Um, I'm gonna tell you what the secret was. So if you don't wanna be spoiled, I mean, you should have stopped a while ago because I'm showing you the entire solution, but here's what I figured out. These pieces that have two straight sides and then little uh, knobs on the ends, they're the ones that surround the square in the middle and then everything else just kind of fell into place. Oh, and then these with the medium knobs and the two, so they go there. So it's the, the little knobs with the straight sides, the medium knobs with the straight sides on each side of the square and then everything else just kind of filled itself in. But what I like about this one is that in the instructions, they give you a bunch of different ways that you could play with it so and like different challenges to do. So I could definitely see having this out on your desk and just constantly like playing with it. I think it's so beautiful. Moving on, let's take a look at the Kiwi puzzle. This one comes in a cardboard box, which I had already opened before I realized there was no other packaging inside. It's just the pieces. This is their 100A puzzle, which has 100 pieces, and there's the sticker with information on the inside, but there's no answer key or hints or anything. The pieces are back to being more traditional jigsaw puzzle shapes, and the plastic is the same thickness as the waves puzzle. The connectors on the puzzles are kind of squiggly. They're really cute. The pieces are perfectly clear again. All right, I'm about to get started on the keyway puzzle. This one is 100 pieces, so it's definitely the most uh, difficult of the ones that I've done yet. Wish me luck. Oh man, I'm nervous. <laughs> so once again, I started by separating out the edges because even if there are extra edges inside, the edge still has to be made of edge pieces. So that's still the easiest place to start. But to be honest, I got a little bored of the edges. So I also separated the inside pieces by piece type. And I started working on those too, since getting the insides filled in can at least reassure you that you have the edge pieces correct. All right, so here's where I'm at. So I have this big section that seems to be done and I have a lot of edges here that seem to be done. But the thing is, I just don't know if every single cut is unique or not. I don't know if it's like this one where the pieces can be rearranged or if it's like these where once you get a piece in place, you know that it's right. So I went onto their website to see if they answered that question and they're very cryptic, which makes me think that maybe some of the connectors are the same and some are unique. 
because like this piece here needs to be a corner, but none of the corners fit. So, you know, something in here is not correct. This one's definitely tricky. It's, it's a tricky one. I don't understand. Is it not a perfect square like all the others? Like this all fits together perfectly. And then I've got this. How, what is happening? And they're only five corner pieces. So what shape is this making? I'm so confused. I feel like I got so confident after those first two were pretty easy and then the third one was okay. And now I'm like, what is happening? What is this puzzle? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, so here we are. So I guess it's maybe not a perfect square because this looks like it's gonna be coming down here, but I mean, I got all of this done, which is pretty good. Um, I think I'm making some real progress. If you are planning to do this yourself, um, why are you still watching? I'm spoiling the entire solution. So I figured out what the final shape is, but like, how am I gonna make this video? This is such a spoiler. What if you guys wanna do it yourselves? I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Maybe I'll just do a bunch of like super extreme close-ups. <laughs> yeah, that'll get the views. So you can see that, yes, all of the connectors are unique. So everything I had finished was correct. It's just the shape of the whole puzzle that is a tricky little trick. So after I figured that out, the rest was pretty easy. So this one took me just under an hour to do, about 55 minutes. I really like the twist that it's not a perfect square. It was really fun to figure out. Although, if you're watching this, I really hope that you've already done this puzzle because otherwise I'm completely spoiling it for you. However, the thing with this one is that you only get to figure out the twist once. And so it's really only like really fun the first time. After that, you kind of know what you're doing. But I could see you maybe passing this on to a friend and challenging them to do it and maybe comparing your times to see how long it takes you to figure out the twist. So I still had a few hours left in the day, so I decided to go back to finish the other two Puzzle Impossibles, starting with the hard level, which is 49 pieces. This one took me just about 16 minutes to do, so definitely easier than the last, uh, the Keyway puzzle. But I mean, this one has half as many pieces, it's 49 instead of 100, so that makes sense. And I think this one was probably the most fun puzzle out of all of the ones that I did today. It was difficult enough that I felt like my brain really had to work to find each piece, but not so difficult that I got frustrated and just started hating the entire world, which don't worry, it's coming up in just a few minutes. Plus the size of the pieces meant that I could see exactly what I was looking at and the thickness of the plastic made it so satisfying to connect the pieces into place. And yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Probably my favorite of the day, super fun. So I'm gonna put that over here with the others and I've got one more left. This is our last puzzle of the day. It is the crazy 144 piece Puzzle Impossible. Well, let's give it a go. Okay, so now it is time for the final puzzle, the 144 piece Puzzle Impossible. You can see that the pieces are much, much smaller than the previous one because it forms the same size square in the end, but it's cut into 144 pieces <laughs> instead of uh, 49. So once again, I started by sorting all of the pieces by piece shape and then I tried to get started on the edge, but with fake edge and fake corner pieces, of course you have to keep in mind that anything you put together might not be an edge piece after all. Okay, so this little one is definitely the hardest of them all. I have a few sections going, but the thing with this puzzle is that all of these have like fake edge and fake corner pieces. So this is probably the real edge, but these little ones, I can't even trust that they're actually the edge. Also, when you have different sections like this, 
you don't know that they're all the right side up. So you might have to end up flipping them later, which is another thing to think about. So my back is definitely starting to hurt again. Um, Cause I have to lean so far over to just see these little tiny pieces. So I guess I'll just be here for a while. <laughs> So there are definitely a few different skills that you build up in puzzling. One is being able to recognize colors and the 5,000 piece gradient puzzle was great for training you how to do that. But obviously that skill does not come into play here. With most puzzles, you also have to be able to picture what a missing piece of the image might look like which again, does not at all come into play here. These puzzles are entirely about being able to look at a piece shape and be able to match it with the correct piece that it fits with. These puzzles are so great for training your mind to be able to picture a puzzle piece shape and then picture the negative of that shape and then be able to spot it out of all of the options that you have left. Oh my god, so I'm definitely like at least an hour into this. This is the worst puzzle I've ever attempted. I'm so over it. Like I keep putting in a couple pieces and then I get stuck for like a full five minutes just trying piece after piece and none of them fit. This is why we're all watching me here on YouTube, right? Just to watch me cry while doing puzzles. I hate this so much. <laughs> but it's gonna be so satisfying when it's done. I know that, but right now I'm like, I'm over it. Why, why do I do this to myself? Why? Somebody tell me. Oh my gosh, I just finished the edge. So, I mean, of course I still have all these other edges left over, which are gonna be somewhere in the middle here, but I definitely feel like I'm moving faster and making some progress. So that's good. Hopefully I can finish it today. Oh my God, you guys, I just did it. I finished it up. Don't look too closely if you don't wanna be spoiled. But anyway, there we go, I finished all of my clear puzzles today so it is about 4 p.m i have oh look like can we just can we just take a moment and look at how beautiful that is oh my gosh also i just realized the air conditioning was on for that last clip so i apologize i'm sorry um it's lit it's 4 p.m i've been doing these all day i've been just staring at clear acrylic so i'm gonna take tonight gather my thoughts because i have so many thoughts and then i'll be back tomorrow to tell you everything that I think about these puzzles. <laughs> so with this puzzle, it was definitely slow going at first because there were so many pieces to pick from and I did get very frustrated. And you have to keep in mind that since you can flip the pieces over, there are double the amount of possibilities as usual for where each piece could go. Plus, since the pieces are so small, I really had to lean all the way over the table to even see what I was looking at, which is why my head keeps blocking this shot. But it definitely was extra satisfying every time I did get a piece that fit into place because there were definitely times where I got stuck and I just tried piece after piece. So finally finding the right piece was always a victory. So after I got the edge finished, the rest was not nearly as frustrating because there were so many fewer pieces left at that point. I'm really glad that I persevered through it and it ended up taking me just about two hours. So definitely longer than the others, but still not a crazy amount of time. All right, so this was so fun for me to be able to do a bunch of different puzzles and to just do something different from what I normally do. I was a little worried going into this that all three different types of puzzles would be exactly the same. I wouldn't have a lot to say about them, but I love that each company took this idea and then did something completely different with it. The puzzle impossibles are closest to a traditional jigsaw puzzle, but with different difficulty levels and with fake edge and fake corner pieces. The waves puzzle probably offers the most puzzling time for your money since you can do it over and over again and try out all these different challenges and piece it together in all these different ways. And the keyway puzzle has the best twist. So it was really fun to figure that out. And I think it would be fun to pass around to your friends to see how long it takes them to figure out as well. So here are my final times for how long each puzzle took. And you can see how puzzling time basically increases exponentially 
based on how many pieces there are to work with. <laughs> so since these pieces are made of hard, thick plastic, it is so satisfying to drop every piece into place and it actually is a lot harder to have a piece in the wrong spot since it becomes much more immediately obvious that the edges don't perfectly line up. As I said at the beginning of the video, I feel like all of a sudden, tons of companies are making these clear jigsaw puzzles. I've been seeing them all over my Instagram feed. It feels like everybody has gotten on this trend. There's a company called Yell Designs, which is doing something really fun with it. They have this shattered glass puzzle, which looks so fun. They also have this virus puzzle, which is giving me serious flashbacks to the Ravensburger Crypt puzzle. And since these are just laser cut acrylic, you could even make your own puzzle. I have actually worked with laser cut acrylic before. Um, I used to make these laser cut necklaces and keychains and sell them on DFTBA.com as my merch. And a lot of those are actually still up for sale. I still have some of them in stock. So if you want to support me and my channel, buying something from my DFTBA merch store is a great way to do it. So the company that I used to use to get my stuff laser cut was called Pinoco. They have great customer service, great tutorials. So if you wanna try making these for yourself, I'll link that company down below. Maybe I'll have to start brainstorming a little twist on a clear puzzle and get a few made and see how it goes. <laughs> so I wouldn't necessarily say that clear jigsaw puzzles are my new favorite puzzle, but I think they definitely look very impressive, especially to someone who's never done one before. And I think any of them, but especially the waves puzzle and maybe the, the extra hard um, Puzzle Impossible, they would be fun just to keep out on your desk and work on it a little bit at a time throughout the day. So I would love to know in a comment have you ever done a clear puzzle? And do you think it's something that you would enjoy? I will have links right down below to everything that I talked about in this video. So you can go get them for yourself and then come back and watch through this entire video, spoilers and all. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram at, at Karen Puzzles for more puzzle photos every single day. And your code word, if you watch through this entire video, is going to be transparent. Get it? Because it's a transparent puzzle piece. Okay, I didn't want it to be too obvious and be like clear, so it's transparent, okay? What am I saying? Why was that like such a thing? Anyway, happy puzzling, and I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>